one of a kind. That's how a local neurosurgeon describes the story of a Hancock County couple. They are both on the other side of brain surgery. News 8's Hannah Mordeaux spoke with them. Tell us their story. Well, this husband and wife both had brain bleeds, very rare kinds. Their doctor says less than 1% of the population suffers from this. About half of those people don't survive it. So it's remarkable these two are here to tell their story. Carrie Kleiman look like the picture of health, a firefighter and a flower farmer in their 40s, now able to walk into the hospital themselves and laugh. <laughs> so we have good bad luck, Nick likes to say. <laughs> Let's back up and explain. Nine years ago, this happened. It was the worst headache I've ever had, and it was a sudden... Uh, very sharp. It felt like someone hit me in the head with something really hard, like a hammer. He's a paramedic and knew something was wrong. They rushed him to the emergency room and he got a CT scan. Simple terms, I had a head bleed uh, that was from an aneurysm that had ruptured. So at 34 years old, I had a stroke. It was terrifying, yet familiar. I knew his grandmother had died of the same thing, so I was just so scared. All I could think was about my, my kids. Uh, I wanted to see them. I wanted to just say goodbye to them. He had a 10-hour brain surgery at Ascension St. Vincent. After three months, he was back to work and just being a dad. Then in 2020... In shock. I couldn't believe it. It was Carrie's turn. What was alarming was I had a fuzzy spot in my vision. And no matter what eye I looked out of, like the fuzzy spot was still there. After seeing an eye doctor, they did a CT scan. And they were able to diagnose it as an AVM that had bled. AVM stands for arterial venous malformation. Think of a ball of arteries and veins in your brain that you're born with like a birthmark. So she too had brain surgery. I don't really know a lot of people who have had brain surgery and now both my husband and I have had brain surgery. To have a married couple with two different very rare problems is extremely rare. Dr. Troy Painter is their neurosurgeon. Yeah. Thank you, you for everything. Well. Especially two different blood vessel malformations and both ultimately getting surgery for it. Uh, that's definitely uh, one of a kind. He says less than 1% of the population ever has a brain aneurysm rupture. Even fewer have AVMs, and those bleeds can be deadly. Any given day, that bubble can burst. And when that happens, it becomes a life-threatening problem. Nearly half of the patients do not survive it. He says doctors don't know why people get aneurysms. 70% of the time, the patients are women. People who smoke or have high blood pressure are most at risk. Sometimes aneurysms run in families, but it's not clear why. And a burst will be obvious. You get this explosive headache, but it happens like that. In a snap, your life can change. And now these two know how lucky they are. So thankful that we both are okay. As lucky as it can get. The Brain Aneurysm Foundation says about 1 in 50 people have unruptured aneurysms. They are not something typically checked for. Dr. Painter says symptoms can mimic a stroke or you may have small seizures. But again, a burst, a bleed, that will be obvious. Fascinating. A little frightening as well. Hannah, thank you. It is